Hello YouTube, we're restoring the headlights on the Alice Chalmers. There is some cracks in these. This one's cracked more. What we did, we took some of our purple power and scrubbed this. And you got grooves down in here, so in the back. So we got down there really good. And you can use an electric toothbrush. I use that too. For scrubbing parts. Okay, that's how they looked before. Okay. Then we took some of our compound. And you can heat this up with a lighter. People complain in reviews, Harbor Freight, this stuff's hard as a rock. You heat up the lighter, and then you can smear it all over your little Dremel polishing thing. So then we polished it. One half, you can tell the difference. I'm sure you can. This is shinier than this side. Then we took it to our buffer wheel in the drill. So... That's all there is to it. Scrub them real good. Uh, if you get any in lettering, you can take a little rubbing alcohol and a little pick or something, pick it out of there, brush it out. You can, you can get in there with some bristles of your brush. And don't use a whole lot of alcohol and plastic, though. You're really not supposed to. So you, you can use cleaner again or soap and water. I use just a little alcohol, but I think I'll use soap and water. Uh, just for that reason so I would use soap and water or degreaser again if you can then you can give it one more final buffing with the big dry wheel okay once we're all done uh, we'll show you what the rest of them look like we don't really have any silver paint for the what they call the buckets behind it and all they take is just like a taillight bulb uh, I'll give you the number off the bulb uh, single filament not dual not like turn signal brake and tail light it's like uh, just a single filament but I'll, I'll show you there of course I may make them high and low beam so we haven't decided yet so you can make it high and low if you get the dual filament ball which I may do that just for the fun of it but I'm sure you can tell the difference if you really look at this and look across it see that you can really tell it there. It is pretty dull. So, stay tuned. Let's talk about this. But I want to show you all the ingredients, everything I'm using. And we'll get these done. And we'll show you what the uh, back portion looks like. It goes in the Alice Chalmers Garden Tractor. So, stay tuned for more. Okay, we are done with this job. Here's how these clamp in the tractor and they got nuts that go there and studs that are welded to the inside of the hood. And I painted these with just some gray Rust-Oleum enamel. We put a ground on these because the only way they grounded before is whatever metal was on there. But this still has enough shiny reflector stuff left in it. Okay, one of them's better than the other one. So, see how we got our ground, we got a lock washer under there. We should, could have used one of them little star washers or whatever so it digs in. There's a lock washer on the head so it digs in. And then you can put your ground wire on there. That'll work better. Okay, and here's your ball. They're just a single filament. If they're a dual, these pegs should be staggered. But you could modify these. You could probably cut one of these out and put one of them clip in sockets, old school or whatever, and have a high and low beam. And then all you got that goes inside of the socket is your that piece and your spring. These were a little rusted. I cleaned them up and I put some rust preventative spray on it. It leaves like a coating. You don't want the oil or grease in there. So that's that. And we made a paper gasket. We're going to probably double them up. Because you won't see this. The lens goes through a hole. So you're never going to see it. And there's the old cork gasket. And there's only one that was any good. So let's see what they look like. I'll turn it down here. I took to my power supply. So that's probably like 14 volts. But uh, So if you was fully charging on something. I mean that's like a tail light bulb. I'm to me it's almost like the brake light bulb i should correct myself the filament this looks more like a brake light bulb let's see if i can get that things a little bit darker in here there a 
one more time shut everything off there you go sorry if I glared you out with the camera but there you go I'll take a couple little pictures of all the components of these and thanks for watching